Our first question comes from Lamar Davis. Lamar wants to know, why do you think The Last Jedi DVD was the highest grossing selling DVD of 2018 when the fan base is split? Don't know. What's our next question? <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. Look, I don't know what you people are doing when it comes to Star Wars. I mean, half you guys are complaining about stuff and then you may then, you know, it's kind of like everybody whines about The Last Jedi. And as everybody was talking about how it was the worst Star Wars movie ever, it goes to make like two billion dollars. So I don't know what you all are thinking. Let us know there in the comments section. <laughs> How about that? I think, you know what? I, <laughs> I think a lot of people, one, it's for, you know, it's part of a collection, one. Well, yeah. there. You know what? And I'm like that, man. I'm a purist. I, like, I can, some band will come out with an album I hate, but because I have the other 20 albums by them, it's like I have to buy it. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, here's the thing, and this is this is like a big secret. I'm going to tell everybody right now. I don't think everybody hated The Last Jedi. I, I mean, yeah. I think it was a small group, you know what I mean, that was very vocal, that really didn't like it. I mean, I'm I'm sure maybe some casual fans or whatever, but I mean, a lot of people, and look, I mean, we liked it. Mm -hmm. We we fully admit, look, there's a lot of problems with it. Yeah. I think also just because, you know, it's the last movie for Carrie Fisher. I think there's yeah. other other thing is it's um, I think the more you watch it, you might grow. That's to like another it. thing I was going to say, too. You know, there's probably a lot of people that went and saw it a second or third time. And then, you know, maybe it's not that bad. Exactly. But then they didn't bother to go change their Rotten Tomato vote or exactly. you know, whatever else. And or it's like, you know, it was it's not as bad as I thought. Right. Still, but I don't, the problem yeah. is though on social media, it's like the the people that are are the most venomous and mm -hmm. you know all that stuff. Those are the ones that tend to make, you know, they're the ones that ran people like Kelly Marie Tran off the off social media and you know right. all of our other friends and and you know our other fellow Star Wars pundits, I guess, or <laughs> podcasters or YouTubers or whatever. You know, it's the same thing. It's like they're they're constantly filling the comments section. Well, there was even that one guy, remember, on our Facebook page or something that was totally going off. And it's like, okay, dude, I mean, I get it. And I, you know, the funny thing about that guy, I didn't totally disagree with a lot of his points, but it was obvious he never listened to our our show. Well, yeah, and that's what I think a lot of things. <laughs> you know, and that's, that's, a, that's another thing, too. It's like when people kind of, when there's enough people who don't like something, it brings other people out to troll, and that's yeah. what they like to do. Yeah, they And like a lot of times they don't even have a, a, a stake in a horse in, in that race. They just want to keep up crap yeah, with everybody else. Yeah, they just want to do it, and it's like, what? what is your deal? You know, and, and it's kind of like, okay, I get it. Here's a thought. Why don't you make your own show or whatever about why you hate this so much? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, all the little trolls can go play or whatever. But I mean, and again, you know, if you guys are watching this now and you're ready to leave a comment, <laughs> <laughs> understand that, you know, he and I both know full well there's a lot of issues with The Last Jedi. We're not, indeed. you know, we're not one of these like blind followers of, you know, everything in Star Wars is wonderful. And, you know, we're not, you know, shills, which basically is people that are, you know, we'll always opposite of trolls. <laughs> yeah. The show basically wants the, you know, Disney and Lucasfilm and all those guys to like give them free stuff. And in order to keep getting that free stuff, they'll continue to say Star Wars is great. Mm -hmm. But, you know, two fans, two generations, all things Star Wars. Daryl and I love Star Wars very much. And because we love the franchise, we'll be the first people to, to talk about anything that's bad. Mm hmm. You know, but at the same time, we're also not going to sit there and just like, it's almost like it's become a sport to just pick on anything that's Star Wars related. Yeah. I mean, it's, that's just the problem with the digital age and everybody having a social media is that everybody, you know, believes they can just say whatever and their opinion matters. Say whatever, and, yep, and their opinion you know. matters. And I mean, look, you can you can have your own, you know, we're growing our YouTube channel. We've had the podcast, the audio podcast for a while, which you can subscribe to, by the way, on Spotify, I, well, Apple Podcasts now, Podcast. uh, Twitch, I think it's on, I think it's on like, it's, you know, Google Play, it's on a variety of, of platforms, but, you know, we wanted to have the video version, you know, pretty soon we're going to do a full-blown multicam thing, I mean, we're growing, and we're going to grow the channel, and with you guys' help, 
it'll grow a lot faster. But I think it's difficult to explain this. Why the DVD actually made, you know, I mean, because you would think that the word of mouth and everything would have killed it, but it just goes to show you that I think that that vocal minority really isn't the Star Wars fandom as a whole. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, hopefully that answers your question. 